Hi everyone. I'm Matthew from Meta API, and that will show you today how to create a spell on Meta API. For this demonstration, I will connect Uptime Robot, a service to detect downtimes on websites with Jira, a platform for managing projects. So let's get started. First, I will create a new spell. I'm looking for Uptime Robot API. I need this endpoint to get all monitors information. Then I will add Jira Cloud Platform. Here we go. I require an endpoint to create an issue, so I will search for that. Great, that's the one I'm looking for. Next, I need to configure the authentication on both these APIs. As you can see, the authentication is already done for this purpose of this demonstration, but I can show you how it's look like. You can label your own account and add your own API key. So everything is fine for me on both API. To continue, you can name your spell in the description. Let's hit save and see the code editor. As you can see, the wizard added both connectors to the interface and generated some code. These code snippets are doing the link between the code and the connectors. This one is doing the link between the snippet and Uptime Robot API. And this one between the snippet and Jira API. So to prepare running the code for the first time, I will clean up a bit this connector because I have all default value here. So I will clean it and set the logs value here to 1 because I know that I need it. For Jira, I leave it as it, knowing it'll generate an error for the first time. Let's run the code. Okay, great. So I can see inside our console panel the connector's responses. This one is from Uptime Robot account and I can see some details. So it's perfect. This monitor, created for this demonstration, is interesting. For this one, the status value is 2, meaning everything is fine. And for this one, the status is 9. So something is down. For this spell, I want to manage all the cases where the status will be different to 2. So okay, let's create a for loop to go on each monitor and check the status on each one. As you can see, we have auto completion on each API, so it's very easy to manipulate it. For the monitor variable, I'll extract the ID, the status, and the friendly name. I add a condition to check the status. So if the status is equal to 2, which is the value if the monitor is fine, we'll do nothing and continue. In the otherwise case, I want to trigger the JIRA connector. I'll copy and paste the generated code. Now, I replace the body by a new one that I've already prepared. This body will create a new issue inside a specific project, identified by its key. Will it also a summary and a description with, inside, a link to the Uptime Robot platform? The Jira documentation will give you the exact format to respect. Then, a console.log will give us the result of this API. Let's check Jira. As you can see, the backlog is currently empty. Before running the spell, I will configure the domain inside the Jira's connector. As each Jira account has their own subdomain, we need to set it. Let's run the spell and see the result. Okay, perfect. I can see inside the spell's response that the execution went fine. Inside the Jira connector, I can see that a new issue has been created with an ID. If I go to Jira interface and refresh it, I'll see this new issue.
Great. Our spell is working and the issue has been created a few seconds ago. I can also see that our link to uptime robot platform has been added to our description. Congratulations. We have done our first API automation using Meta API. But we need one more action to achieve it because we have one major flaw to fix. If, for example, we run this spell every 10 minutes using your schedule or another service, we will generate many duplicated issues since the website will be up again. And, of course, we don't want to spam our Jira account. Let's hit run again and see the duplicated issue inside Jira. To fix this, we can use Meta Storage, our key and value database built in inside Meta API. We can use it to store the information that an issue has already been created inside Jira, using Uptime Robot ID. This database is very simple to use. We create add, update and delete action to manipulate the database from the code. Let add the get method from Meta Storage and use the Uptime Robot Monitor's ID as a parameter. Now, I will store the value inside a variable. Now, I'll add a condition to skip the execution with a continue if the value exists. Finally, I'll add after the Jira's request a set method using meta storage. Using the same key, I'll set the value to true. That will be enough to prevent any duplicated execution. One last step. I need to manage the case when the server is up and, a few moment later, down again. To manage this, I will add the delete method of meta storage inside our first condition. I will like before, using the same key for meta storage. Everything looks fine. Let's try it. I'll clean all the issue inside Jira. Let's run the spell. I can see inside the console that a new Jira issue has been created. Let's run it again. Now, nothing has been created so our usage meta storage is working fine. If we go to Jira and refresh the page, we should see only one issue. That's correct. Now our spell is ready for production. Let's deploy it. Hit the deploy button on top. We'll first create a new version with a name and a description. By click on deploy on production, we'll both save the version and deploy it. Once deploy, the platform will give you all the information to run your spell outside Meta API. We will see, in another video, how to use the scheduler feature to make your spell run automatically. Thanks a lot for your attention and have a nice use of Meta API. I'll see you for the next one.